This is a sample of using the binomial distribution in Excel, which can be used for processes that only have two possible outcomes, such as success or failure, defective or not defective, true, false, heads, tails, or anything like that. In this example problem, we have an assembly line, and we are uh, going to be pulling items off of this assembly line. And we know that the probability that the item we're producing is going to be defective is 0.15. So our first question is, if 10 items are sampled at random, what is the probability that three or fewer of them will be defective? In order to compute a binomial distribution, we need three pieces of information. The first is the number of trials or the number of times we are going to try this. Since we're going to sample 10 items, that's the number of trials. We're trying this 10 times. We are looking for three successes. And the probability of a success is 0.15, given in the question. It may seem weird here to call uh, defective a success but that's the way we're doing it. That's the way the problem has been stated. So in Excel, the binomial distribution is uh, binome.dist. In previous versions of Excel, there will not be the dot there. We open parentheses, and it tells us exactly what we're looking for. First, we need the number of successes. That is 3. Then we need the number of trials, which we've put here, 10. Then we need the probability of one success, given as 0.15. Then we need to tell it if we're looking for a cumulative distribution or not. We're looking here for three or fewer successes, which means three successes or two successes or one success. Uh, that is cumulative, and so we put true here, up to three, cumulative up to three, true. So when we hit enter here, it tells us that that probability is 0.95. If we sample 10 items at random, the probability that three or fewer will be defective is 0.95 or 95%. The next question, if 10 items are sampled at random, what is the probability that exactly three will be defective? It's a very similar problem. It is, again, binome.dist, open parentheses, number of successes we are concerned with three, the number of trials we're performing 10, the probability of success on an individual trial 0.15, and now since we're looking for exactly three, it is not cumulative, so we put false here. That gives us a probability approximately 0.13 or 13 percent. If the probability that an individual item is defective is 0.15, then we sample 10 items at random, the probability that exactly three will be defective is 0.13.